Welcome to Film My Run, my name's Stephen Cousins. Many of you will know who subscribe to this channel or if you watch regularly that I film a lot of my runs, but when I'm trying to go a little bit faster, I don't take the camera with me. Tomorrow is one such occasion. Tomorrow I'm running the South Downs Way 100 for the second time, and um, I'm not taking a camera with me. I'm gonna try and run it a little bit faster with my running buddy, Richard. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is show you what I pack for a 100 mile race. I've only done two. I've done the South Downs Way 100 last year and I did the Arc of Attrition 100 in, uh, in February. Uh, so that was a very different kind of race, a lot of different packing for that. I've split it into three sections, uh, things that I'm gonna wear actually running, um, things that I'm gonna put in my backpack and things that I'm gonna have in the car. Uh, my wife is crewing for us, so um, it'll be in the car available to me to pick up every five to 10 miles or so when we see her at uh, checkpoints. So um, the first thing is what I'm actually gonna wear. Um, it's pretty standard what I normally wear. Um, we'll start with the shoes. I'm currently wearing Hocker Challenger ATR 3s. I've also had the ATR 2s. Um, they're okay. They're not the most amazing shoe in the world. Um, the grip has died already um, because we ran the uh, Transvolcania Ultra in them and that's uh, pretty gruesome on the bottom of your shoes um, but they're all right um pair of standard carry more shorts my favorite x bionic tight kind of compression top um, if it's a bit warm tomorrow i may choose to wear a different x bionic top but that's my favorite one um, i've got in gingy toe socks Good at preventing blisters, nice and comfortable for me anyway, I like them. Uh, I've got x bionic underwear, I pretty much wear running underwear every single race now, just it, it's so much more comfortable than standard normal Marks and Spencers underwear. Um, and my Innovate cap, uh, then I've got a, a knackered old pair of sunglasses, really need to replace those, um, and my um, Dirty Girl Gaiters. I've only just started wearing gaiters. I wore them for the Transvolcania Ultra. They seemed to uh, prevent me getting a lot of uh, grit in my shoes. Uh, this is a lot more of a sedate race, but uh, it may well help. Um, and I also have these tiny little kind of plasticky, rubbery toe caps. Um, I do tend to bash my big toenail around quite a lot on my left and right foot. Uh, both of them are black at the moment. Uh, these, I think, probably prevent them getting even worse um, so I'm, I'm wearing those tomorrow so that's what I'm actually going to put on tomorrow to start the race then in my backpack um, there's a lot of other stuff now there is certain equipment that you have to take with you mandatory kit um, that includes a space blanket it's pretty standard um, a waterproof jacket with taped seams this is my OMM waterproof jacket um, you have to have um, at least one litre, or is it 500 mils, or one litre's worth of um, fluid, bottles to carry fluid in. You have to have a base layer sealed in um, a waterproof pack, so that's that. Um, you also have to have two light sources, a uh, main light source and a backup light source, so I've got my Petzl Neo Plus here, which is fairly new to me, I've only worn it a couple of times. Um, and then my old LED lenser um, backup head torch. Um, you also have to have a fully charged mobile phone. So here's my um, iPhone and a cable and a battery pack in case my phone runs out. And the battery pack is also for charging my watch. I've got my cable here. My watch will not last the entire race. So I will need to take it off and charge it on the go. Uh, the good thing about my watch is that it will allow me to keep the activity running and charge at the same time. Um, and then I've got my Salomon backpack. Um, so that is pretty much, I think, everything I'll be taking with me. I've got some paracetamol here. Remember, please do not take ibuprofen if you're on a long endurance race. It can play havoc with your kidneys um, and uh, you could get something called rhabdomyolysis where your, your kidneys shut down. Uh, so you don't want that to happen. The mandatory kit list requires you to have a whistle as well, um, and uh, there is a whistle on my backpack there. So that's it for what's going in my backpack. That is what I will be wearing and carrying with me. Now, I'm also taking this stuff here. This is gonna be my bag. It's gonna have 
spare stuff in it and um, we're also going to be carrying some nutrition as well. So let's run through that. So I've got spare top, uh, spare shorts, spare shorts, spare top, another spare top, another spare pair of underwear, spare socks, um, a buff in case it gets cold at night, a spare cap, spare batteries for my LED lenser, Lecky poles. The poles, um, we're probably going to use them in the last part of the race because they're two or three quite steep hills um, towards the end of the race. So we may well take them out. Uh, spare bottles, just in case one gets ripped or I lose one. Um, I probably won't need these, but I've got my compass, some plasters, another little extra torch, some Vaseline, which I definitely will be putting on. Um, toothbrush, toothpaste and uh, mouthwash, just because when you're running and drinking Coke and all sorts of rubbishy, sugary stuff, your mouth does tend to feel pretty gross after a while. Um, and that will all go in, in my bag there. Um, my nutrition is this thing, Huel. It's a powdered meal replacement. Um, I mix it with full fat milk, but I think you're supposed to mix it with um, water. And I will have that pre-mixed um, and ready for me to drink almost every time I see my wife at checkpoint. To be perfectly honest, my nutrition regime has altered wildly over the years that I've been running. In my salmon flasks, I will normally take uh, Coca-Cola or Red Bull or something in one flask and just plain water in the other flask. Um, I can certainly top up with Coke if I need to at the aid stations or uh, my wife will carry some Red Bull if I wanna keep that going. Um, Obviously water I can top up at the aid stations as well. I often don't eat very much solid food at all during a long, a long race. Um, I tend to stick with the Huel there. Um, occasionally I might have some soup or a bread roll or something at one of the aid stations uh, and I will eat very well before I start running. There is uh, one thing that you are required to have that I don't have with me here, which is a collapsible cup. A lot of races in Europe for a long time and now in England are, are going cupless, helping the environment. Good idea as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I'm required to carry with me a, a collapsible cup. Um, I don't actually have one, but I have ordered one which will be available for me tomorrow morning at the sports ground where we start the race. Other things that it's often good to take with you, um, in your bag, you may want to put a towel. You may also want to have um, a black bin liner to put in any wet or dirty shoes, wet clothes or dirty shoes. You might also want to pack an entire change of clothing, shoes, socks, jeans, t-shirt, nice cozy jumper, or even a warm coat if you're going to be shivering at the end of the race. So that's it. If you think I've missed anything or if there's anything that you take that uh, you find useful, do comment below and uh, we'll see you for another Film My Run proper race next time.